What up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Hustle Q. Sorry, I'm barefooted. Well, I got socks on, but I'm just relaxing. Anyway, it's your boy, Hustle Q, man. Back with another video. Today's video, man, is going to be about, one, scammers. Here we go again. Number two, we're going to talk about my EE distribution toy company that I'm affiliated with. Number three, we're going to talk about a little retail arbitrage I did. Kind of me, kind of going over what I plan on doing next year. Excuse me. Okay. So number one, let's just get into it. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, I was at Target the other day. Real quick, quick story. At Target, and they had the Spider-Man Funko Pop. It was the one where he's all bandaged up. He's all like on crutches and everything, right? They had six of them on the end cap. So I'm scoping Target out because some of the workers, they watch it because they only limit you two. And it was six of them. And I'm like ready to grab them all. And they come out to about $8.99 each plus tax, about $9 and some change, probably like $9.61 and some change. So let's just round it up to $10 of Funko Pop. So the first thing I do, I get on the Funko app and I scan the Funko Pop. Yeah, right there. I scan the Funko Pop on the barcode and it tells me the value of it. What's it worth? What's it going for? As simple as that. A lot of people go by that. So I start to go by that to see. It's pretty much working for me. So anyway, I was looking at it. I looked over at the electronic desk, and there's a couple of guys, a couple of kids over there, man. They're, like, looking at me, you know, like that. So I just walked on. I said, you know what? Let me let me pump the brakes real quick. First of all, I need to chill on that. Uh, just can't be buying everything I want. So when I checked it out, it was only worth, like, $18. That was the value. And I would have been paying about 10 That's not enough profit for me to go ahead and grab all six, to spend almost 60 bucks on that. It's just not. No. Okay? So I said, no, I'm not going to do it. So anyway, I left Target. We did our shopping, left Target, came home. That night, I sat there, saw, my wife saw like a commercial or something, or it was something on the news that they're coming out with a movie or maybe a series, not not sure yet, but with all the Spider-Mans in together. I'm talking about the Amazing Spider-Man, Fantastic Spider-Man, whatever to all the Spider-Mans, they're coming out with all the Spider-Man, they're going to be in this one big movie. And I'm thinking like, hmm, what are you guys thinking? I need to go back and get all those Funko Pops. They're going to pop. The value should go up. That's my theory on it, right? So I said, okay. I didn't go to Target the next day. I didn't go the next day. Went to Target. You already know what happened. Somebody got them all. Yeah, somebody got them all. So my loss on that. But I did run into one, which is pretty cool. Let me show you what it is. I got Transformers Starscream. Paid $8.99, $9.61 with tax. But here's the thing, though. I did some T-shirts for a guy, um, embroidered some polo shirts. The guy tipped me 25 bucks, so I appreciate the love. That 25 bucks went into this, or at least $9.61 went. So can we call this profit? Can we just call this 100% profit? No money out of my pocket? It was a tip from a job that I did? I don't know. You decide. Drop the comment. Let me know. Is this all profit? I think so. I'm going to go with all profit. So anyway, with that said, there was only one of that. Looked it up. Crazy part. The value said $27. The next day, I looked it up again. It was $23. Hmm. So anyway, whatever I paid for it, I don't know. I feel like it's profit to me. Value is $23. Now look, I ordered these from the EE distribution. They haven't came in yet, but the difference is, mine is not going to stay Target exclusive. Mine is just going to be common. No, none of these on there. But anyway, going back to the Spider-Man, I lost on it. And that's what it is. Let you know. Got to keep up on the trends. Movies coming out. When the movies come out, things pop. If a Transformer movie come out, all those Transformer um, pops might go up in value. Oh, real quick. I just sold. God, I'm going to post it up right here. I sold. Th the guy haven't paid me yet, though. So, sort of like sold three of these Funko Pops. They're 10-inch Funko Pop. He bought three of them. I had them on sale. I basically, I felt like it was a bad buy because it didn't pop like I wanted to pop. Like a Funko Pop. Get it? All right. I got to leave the jokes alone. Okay, so listen. It was a Mandalorian 10-inch Funko Pop. I paid about $30 for it. Um, I dropped it down to what I paid for it. The shipping, I probably would make a few dollars on the shipping. So most likely, I will break even on this. So here's the thing, though. The guy put an offer in for $32. I said, yeah, forget it. I'll accept it. I had it at $35. I'll accept it. Let me just get rid of it. It's considered a bad buy for me because Mandalorian, that Funko Pop did not go up. And here's my fault. I went on and accepted it. And then when I looked at it, he hasn't paid yet. This was from this morning. He hasn't paid yet. He got three of them. I'm like, what the hell? But here's the thing. I charged $17 shipping 
each 1747 is the point I put it at because of the dimensions of the box. It doesn't weigh that heavy, but the dimensions cause the shipping to go up. So he only paid, he paid for three, but they only charged like, like if he was shipping two of them out, you know, anyway, I looked it up just, just to look it up. The value went up to 50 bucks. Yes. He hasn't paid yet. Now, should I cancel it? So I can get that money later on, maybe it'll go up even more, maybe it won't. You know, it's Funko Pops are like stock. What would you do? Drop a comment. Should I cancel it? No, I'm not going to cancel it. You know, whatever you say, it's the who is cool. But I'm not going to cancel it because that's wrong. It's not right. It is wrong. It's not right. He bought three of them, but he haven't paid yet. Now, look, I sent the payment reminder that eBay gives you to send out. I made up a little reminder that's actually nice, more nicer than the one that eBay has written out. A little bit nicer, you know, tell you to stay safe. Hey, if you have a change of mind, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm going to send that out first thing in the morning if he doesn't pay. And by the next morning, if he doesn't pay, then I cancel the order. Simple as that. That's how I do it. So anyway, with that said, that's it. Uh, I got that fungal pop all the way. Um, This next thing I want to talk about EE distribution real quick. This is my rant on them. They got me irritated. I'm ready to cut them loose. Honestly, I'm ready. Okay, so what happened was... As you guys know, I'm going to try to sum this up really quick. I buy a lot of stuff. I pre-order a lot of stuff. So what I was doing is, here's one of the orders that just came in. Okay? So I'll get them in the sixes like this. So I'm a Funko Pop, right? So this is the latest Funko Pop I just got in. All right? This is a Star Wars Funko Pop. All right? I just got that Funko Pop in, right? Let me just sit here because everything's coming apart. So anyway, got that Funko Pop in. <sighs> That Funko Pop wasn't due to like next month. So I ordered a whole bunch of Funko Pops. All of them in one big order. Well, they're all coming separate. Okay. I made a trip down there to pick up my Funko Pop. Thought it would be better. It's an hour and a half drive up. Hour and a half drive back. I wasn't feeling it. I'll just eat the shipping up. Right. But I figured I'll order all in bulk. Right. Order all in bulk. Nah. Because not everything comes in at the same time. And like, I don't feel like driving down there. I'm having car problems right now. I got to get the car fixed. And I'm like. I'm not driving down there. I'm too busy in the drive. Dude, I'm the type of person I get sleepy when I drive. I can sleep all day, wake up and drive and get sleepy. I don't know what it is, okay? So anyway, with that said, I called the rep and I told him, could you please switch everything over from will call to shipping? Go back to my shipping. Well, with that said, I got a notice saying, okay, we're going to charge a credit card. We got one of my items in. Here it is, blah, 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 whatever. I paid for the six Funko Pops. On top of that, they charge $13.79 for shipping. And I'm just like, that's eating up my profit. But then I realized if I was to drive down there, I don't know. Because not everything comes in at the same time. And they're only going to hold it for so long, I guess. I'm not sure that. So anyway, by me switching over, for every so far, I'm waiting for them to hear back. And I already emailed them. So far, they're charging me $25 will call, to, will call pickup to shipping fee. Okay, the stuff is right here. You pick the order. I worked in warehouses for many years. You pick the order. You got it. Customer is going to pick it up. Customer calls. Say, hey, can you just go ahead and ship it? No problem. Get it. Boom. We ship it. They're going to charge me $25. So I got two more orders coming in. They actually, shocking, it was part of a big order I ordered. They put it together. So it was like 12 Funko Pops in one big box, I'm assuming. Charging me. $13.79, appreciate it. And then on top of that, they charged me a $25 fee. Yeah, $25 extra fee because I switched it from will call pickup to shipping. Is that right? Come on, man. Okay, then I have a Mandalorian that they were supposed to switch over. They didn't, and I just saw another charge on there for $25 extra fee. So I emailed them waiting to get back. If they tell me they're going to charge me $25, on every item I got coming in because I switched back, they're canceled. I will cancel them as quick as I got them. Simple as that. It ain't worth it to me, man. What am I just order? Come on, man. I ain't collecting. I'm trying to sell it, man. That's ridiculous. Like Uline, real quick, Uline. Let me get on to the next section real quick. Uline. They're right down the street from me. But in order for me to pick up, they're going to charge me $25 to pick up my own stuff that I ordered from them, that I'm paying them to get for me. 25 bucks. Unless I order $300 worth of boxes. I don't need $300 worth of boxes. The most I order is maybe $100, $150 worth of boxes. And that was just right now during the Christmas season. I don't need to order that much. Why do you want to charge me $25 to pick up boxes? You right down the street, bro. 
Come on, man. $25, man. Oh, my God. I ain't trying to be cheap, but come on. Who's being greedy here? I'm buying the boxes from you. Imagine how many more boxes I'll probably buy from you if you just let me pick it up without charging me a $25 fee. And then you, you the EE distribution, charge me a $25 fee. My goodness, man. Sorry I have to rant. I have to vent with y'all. I'm venting. Vent back if you need to. It's all good. Okay, we're going to get into the last thing. We're going to talk about a scammer. Okay, check this out. I got a guy that hit me up. He just hit me up yesterday. And um, he said, the message went just like this. Hey, I just got home from college. I don't know if he sounds like that. It was just me acting. I used to be an actor. I I starred in a movie. Um, if you guys are familiar with it, I'll show you proof. I, well... Yeah, I started in a movie called, um, name of the movie, uh, Straight Outta Compton. Yes, I was an extra. I'll show you. Anyway, so check it out. <laughs> Let me move on, man. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop. Okay. So look, this guy hit me up and said, hey, I'm going to show you the pictures and everything. I don't know if you'll be able to see it like I see it, but I'm going to try to give you some pictures. The guy hit me up and said, hey, man, just got home for college. And I opened it up, opened up the package and the arm is broken off. Now, broken off, missing, I don't know. He sends a picture of the item. It's an Odell Beckham football figure from Bobblehead. Okay, and he's like this, but this part of the arm is broken off. So I'm like, okay, let me, let me investigate this. Okay, now you got to remember one thing. I take detailed pictures. I mean, not if you guys knew that. But I take uh, detailed pictures. If there's wear around the box, all that, I do it. I take the detailed pictures. This guy sent me the picture of the arm broken off. So I'm looking at the picture. What do I do next? I go to my pictures. Okay. The first picture I'm going to show you is the sock. Okay. It has smudge marks on it. But when I look at my pictures, there's no smudge marks. So I'm going to post them up. Okay. I'm going to post up his and I'm going to post up mine. There's smudge marks on his socks. Mine don't have smudge marks. I believe he said in a note he didn't open it yet. But I'm going to read the note again. Okay. The next thing, the teeth. It's really hard for you guys probably to see, but the teeth are different. They're shaped different, okay? I Honestly, I think he got something from overseas in China, and it jacked up on him. Because China will send you some stuff like that, but they won't box it up. They'll send it in a poly bag. It gets crushed. It's on you, okay? Now, check this out. The next thing was the body of it has chips on it. When I look at my picture, zero chips, no chips at all, okay? The next thing on the back of the plate where he's standing on, it tells you what number it is. Number 258 of 600. He sent me a message before he bought it and asked me what number did it say. So I don't know. Is it possible he took Odell Beckham off and put it on my, and put the broken one on my stand? My theory is he's switching out and he wants to return it. I contacted eBay already. eBay said, don't worry, you're protected. Open it up. We're going to note that you did call us about this and we'll see. We'll go from there. I feel this guy's trying to get over him because the picture he sent me and then look, oh, on one part of the leg, I'm going to show you another picture. One part of the leg, there's something underneath the leg. Now, I don't know if that's the missing arm or whatnot. It seemed like it's not versus what I have. I'm just going to show you. I don't know. I feel he got something from China overseas from the black market, and it didn't work out for him. He tried to go cheap, and he went that route. Now he's looking for a victim. I'm your victim. I ain't having it, though. I am not having it, okay? Anyway. Just want to let you know, I think the guy's trying to scam me. I'm waiting for the stuff to come back in the mail, see what happens, and we're just going to go from there. Oh, real quick, if you guys saw my other video, had another guy saying that he got the Nike, not the Nike, but the Raiders track jacket, and said when he opened it up after seven or eight days, it had a stain on the zipper. We went back and forth a little bit. I said, you know what? Go ahead and send it back. Haven't heard from him. He's local right here in Reno Valley. I would have been happy enough to just drive over to Reno Valley, hand you your money back, let me pick up my product. But I told him on my pictures, there's no stain on the zipper. But on your pictures, you have a stain on the zipper. Shout out to the homie Cali Luis, reseller. Cali reseller Luis. He said he probably wore the jacket out, going out somewhere and stained it. Now look. I'm that person. I stain my shirts. Man, I be trying to eat. Look, I be trying to be eating up on the table. But some reason, I tend to drop food on my shirt. And here's the thing. Me and my wife be eating. She won't even tell me. She's just grinning and laughing like that. You know, it's all good, though. And she, and then I just when I see that, I happen to look down. Yeah, I got some stain on my shirt. But it's okay. So anyway, I think this is what happened to the dude. Um, he didn't even send it back. 
nothing, no claim. I'm waiting on it. Nothing came back. So no claim or nothing. So we good with that. But um, these, like I said, man, these scammers, they work hard. They work hard. Anyway, let's do a thumbnail. Let me see if I can do a thumbnail. Oh, let me see. No, no, thumbs up. It ain't a thumbs up. But... Boom. That was my thumbnail. So anyway, man, make sure you subscribe, like, share the video, do what you got to do. It's your boy Hustle Q, man. We out. Don't forget, we're doing a $100 giveaway, man. It's coming. I'm telling you, man. We're going to announce it on Christmas Day. I'm going to do a video so I can show you the card and everything that I do got it. Anyway, hopefully you made it to the end of the video. If not, peace.